Hey there, folks. Folks, why did I say that? My gorgeous friends on the internet, hope you are doing all well and fancy today. In today's episode, I want to give you the number one tip. To be, to, I'm going to give you the tip. That's not a dirty joke. Okay? I'm going to give you the number one tip that I follow to become a better developer and increase my skills just like that. So let's not waste any more time. I'm not going to say the actual tip in 10 minutes and then you have to skip through the whole video. The number one tip is to create projects and stop doing tutorials. I just killed my channel, Ripperoni and Pepperoni. And that's the number one tip that you should follow whenever you're learning anything development related, whatever that be Python or JavaScript or development or game development or whatever. That's the number one tip is not to follow tutorials as much as you might think and to actually start building out the things that you want. And again, this is like so obvious that you might, everybody might be like, yeah, well, obviously you want to start building out your things, but uh, it's actually a very fine line here. And a lot of people fall into this trap and you never really realize that, wait, I'm, I, I actually done more tutorials than I done projects. And this happened to me a bunch of times and it's still a hard habit to break. Uh, a few years ago, like three years ago, when I was learning React, I would watch tutorials over and over again about how to do simple things, just kind of getting the basics done and then building out simple projects. And I would watch React tutorials, I'm not even joking, for like a year and a half. And guess what I did? After that year and a half, I had no idea how to do anything in React. And when I actually started building things out, my memory is, is just not as good. Maybe yours is good, but mine is not as good. Uh, and I forgot most of the things and that's pretty much what happens in real life as well if you don't actually put that thing that you learned to the test well it's not gonna work out right in school that's probably one of the biggest problems is that you learn everything in memory you do the test you got the good score and then you never use it again and you're gonna forget so the number one tip is, again, I'm not saying that don't do tutorials because tutorials are a great resource to get the basics done, but I'm saying don't fall into that rabbit hole of just doing tutorials because you feel like you're not good enough to start your own project. So my philosophy has always been to start from the basics, just learn from the beginning and just get a good grasp of how that technology works and how you can put together something super simple. And after that, like literally you have to concentrate and take deep breaths, yoga breaths, and be like, okay, I'm done with the tutorial. That's it. Let's not jump into anything else get straight on building projects. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people scared to do this jump is because it's scary. It's scary to start something and you don't feel like you have a grasp of the thing that you're learning so far. But well, here's the beauty is that you're actually putting the thing to the practice. So even though you know like super basic stuff from that one tutorial that you watched or two tutorials that you watched, what you do is you start building out the thing that you want. And when you start building out the things that you want, you can pretty much break down that app or whatever you're building into small pieces. And then you can identify, well, I know how to set up the basic project, but how do I do this thing? So then you can start Googling things, all right? How to do that specific thing using that specific technology. Once you Google that thing, you're like, oh, okay, so that's it. Let me put it, boom, 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 boom. Ah. And bow. It works. Sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes people just wear at you and stack overflow. Suck my fucking dick. This thread has always been opened. There's like multiple duplicates of this post. Go fuck off. But here's the beauty. Once you actually find something on Google and apply it to your project, you actually have practice of making it work to your own project because this is another big problem with tutorials that you might build something out step by step how the instructor wants you to but when you want to apply it to your project it's not going to work out exactly the same because yours might be a bit different and all of a sudden whoa i learned how to do that node.js trick but right now it's not working anymore because i need to do the route a bit differently or whatever it doesn't really matter but you know what i'm saying so again I think this is such a powerful tool to do, is to, to just build something out without actually knowing too much about something, is getting small pieces of code and trying it out and making it work in your project, and automatically you're gonna have a much better understanding of what that piece of code does. So the main problem with the whole programming world has to be that you are bombarded by all of these technologies. So whenever you wanna learn JavaScript related things, you're gonna find a ton of packages, a ton of libraries, a ton of frameworks, and everybody teaching it to you. And you 
especially if you're just getting started with a specific technology or programming language, you're a bit confused and you don't know how important certain things are. Like, once you get really good, you start realizing that a lot of these libraries or packages are not as important as you might think. Uh, so, it's very difficult to see that. To see that you don't need to learn five frameworks. So you get a good grasp of whatever how it works or multiple libraries to be a good JavaScript developer. Uh, but again, as a beginner, you don't know what is important and what is not. And then you have a bunch of people on YouTube and blog posts teaching you all of these different things, right? And they're like, this is great, this is good, you should learn this, this is pretty good. And you want to learn those things because they're telling you to learn those things. And then you get really confused and you get overwhelmed by, by all of these technologies. And then you quit or you burn out and you pause or you skip and you're like, I cannot be a good developer or you're just stressing and not actually building anything out. And I don't want to blame any instructor. I don't want to blame any YouTuber uh, because I mean, to be honest, there is no fault there. They're just showing you different technologies because it, it depends what route you take, right? For me, for example, I can go learn JavaScript, a framework, and a backend language like Node.js, and I'm completely fine. But I select the tutorials that I'm looking for. Again, whoever's teaching it is, has no fault in this. However, somebody that, that is not familiar with the JavaScript ecosystem jumps in and sees all of this crap and is like, oh no, I don't know what to do. Again, so there's nobody to blame really here, but I feel like my obligation as an instructor or YouTuber or whatever you want to call me is to give you tutorials just at a lower amount. And I'm not telling you about like, what I mean by this is I don't wanna cover a bunch of technologies like, for example, in the JavaScript ecosystem, right? I don't wanna cover Vue, I don't wanna cover Svelte, I don't wanna cover all of these different things because I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary for you to learn. So, if you look back at the beginning of my channel, I, I always kept it kind of consistent of just using... I had my own path. Just HTML stuff, CSS stuff, JavaScript, some React. Okay, that, that's all you need. And that's the reason why I never really updated my React series even more, because people told me, oh, do a tutorial on Redux, do a tutorial on React Router. I've already done those, and I think the things that I have on my channel are sufficient. So there's no need to bloat the channel and give people, just overwhelm people with a bunch of material that has already been done. Because to be honest, I can do that with websites too. If I really want to make money off YouTube, I can just do every week. I can just build out a website with HTML and CSS because those are super popular, super simple to make, and they make a lot of money. So I could just repeat that. But I think this repetition is kind of redundant and it's not necessary. And I don't think it's healthy for the students out there. So again, all the content that I'm gonna make is gonna be super linear and I'm not gonna, not gonna create a bunch of duplicates and I'm not gonna overwhelm you with a bunch of technologies. So again, what you saw so far on my channel, it's kind of linear, nothing too crazy. Some design, that's completely fine if you're interested in that. But when it comes to programming, I kept it pretty straightforward without too many different weird tutorials. Okay, does that make any sense? I need more water because I'm not thinking straight. So at the end of the day, the most important thing is to follow that one path that you set yourself to. Really think about this question because this can waste you a ton of time if you don't think it. So think of it now rather than later. Is what you want to achieve. What do you want to create? That's the most important thing. If you're a web developer and you want to create awesome websites that are simple and just look, look super nice, well, maybe HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is just enough for you. Just go HTML, CSS, and maybe focus on design as well. And, and you don't even need to look at anything else. That's gonna be your little niche. You're gonna be good at it. Superb. Again, if you just try to find that path because you're not gonna waste your time with a bunch of other tutorials that you might not actually use and you might not actually put to effect. So once you find the path, look at the basics. After you're done with the basics, I know it's scary, but start building out stuff and go from there. Googling is one of the most important things. 
an important tool when it comes to becoming a web developer. And probably that's one of the most important skills to be a good developer. So if you're really good at Googling, then you can pretty much do anything that you want. So that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna drop a subscribe button, please do that right there. Check out my courses on HTML and JavaScript in the description. I have some discounts on it. So if you haven't purchased them yet, now's the time. And this video is, I also have a new product. This is by Logitech. No, I'm just I'm joking. All right, till next time, peace out.